president, he promised to bring the jobs back to America. And since he was a reality TV star, we decided to do it with reality TV. Now, I have three contestants applying for this job tonight. We have Jordan. We have Camille. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> For all of God's creatures are created equal, and henceforth, if our circumstances um, <laughs> did not be brief, <laughs> Sources of those amongst us. Um, it is but part of God's plan for them to barely show their generosity. Oh. <laughs> and then I shall gift them with a taxidermy nurse. Your application mentions that you're very good with a chainsaw.
Coca-Cola, please. <laughs> Tea, child. Uh, I could perform an exorcism for your pile of acorns. It is only right. I can rid you of this rabbitism and bring you into the Mormon folds. This is a time to be, well, trying to get people to come into your religion. It's time for the audience to vote! Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So by round of applause, as I raise my hand over each of the contestants, you can vote. Which of the contestants do you want to be a taxidermist tonight? Do you want Jordan? Marble. <coughs> That's 
what I want. Okay. Oh, that new shipment of marbles. Thank you. <laughs> the googly eyes were costing so much money. <laughs> but the Steelies and the Aggies, they beautiful. Beautiful. Let's roll them. Let's make sure they're all perfectly round. Go. <laughs>
the places that you want to go. Tell me about all the things that I filled you with. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> you may wonder why I'm there over here. <laughs> the light is better on me this way. I understand. <laughs> Sometimes I like to bask in the afterglow, alone, of watching you, remembering what you've done to me. <laughs> I'm just going to wash my hands. <laughs> Days afterwards, just so I can remember you on me and me on you, and which is why we don't see each other except for every six months. <laughs> the animalistic order between the two of us is too much to bear. You're such a burly, burly millionaire. I made you a mock apple pie. Oh, just. Smother it on my face and do it everyone else. <laughs> well, you know that's how I like to eat it. <laughs> that brings me to something. I'm going to put some mock apple pie down. You might want to know why it's a mock apple pie. Well, because I'm rich and I have to maintain some semblance of a figure. That's right. <laughs> Grandma, but oh. let's cut to the chair. Every time I'm with you, I feel like I'm slumming it, and it feels so good. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you say slumming it? Oh, I'm just a little piece of tarty you can flick off later like dead skin. My sweet, sweet tartlet. <laughs> when you demean me like that. <laughs> because I'm rich and you're poor and that's what we do. <laughs> it is, it's a toxic dance. We dance together, the rumba of the house and they have nuts. The one percent tango that I'm always coming up 98% And what happens to that other one percent? I don't know. 98 and one, then why can't you do this anymore? I don't. I have my accountants do the math. Good morning, honey. So, oh, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to <clears throat> get something from the fridge. It's all right, darling. That's my husband. <laughs> I made you a mock apple pie, too. Oh, that's my favorite. That's not a mock apple pie, but it's all right. I'll pay you $5,000 just to watch you eat it. <laughs> oh, um, I have one more request. If you could do it standing next to that stuffed swan. <laughs> it's a tuxedo, not so fun as a wedding dress. <laughs> Do you want something to bash that cigarette down with? It's the longest cigarette I've ever smoked. <laughs> Like 